can do nothing without you, Lord Jesus. Tonight I pray, hallelujah, help us to deliver your message, Lord God, through the Bible study. Lord, I pray for your wisdom, and I pray for your knowledge. Lord God Almighty, we pray, bless your word tonight, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, bless all the listeners of your word. Continue, Lord God, hallelujah, to hunger. God, hunger, Lord, to your word. Continue, Lord God, to remind them that we need your word, Lord. We need your word, Lord Jesus. I pray, hallelujah, bless the hero of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. So tonight we will continue to our topic, the attributes of God, part three. So we already discussed the part one and the part two. Praise God. Also we discussed about the uh, attributes of God. God uh, possesses many attributes. And praise the Lord. And hallelujah. We talk about also hallelujah the omnipresent God, omniscient God. And omnipotent God. And God is holy. So tonight we will continue our topic entitled God is immutable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Number seven or letter F. God is immutable. Or I think it's number eight. No? So God is immutable in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. I am the Lord, I change not. Praise God. So sabi po ng Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Ako ang Panginoon, hindi nagbabago. So God is Never change. He is the God in the Old Testament and manifested in the New Testament. Praise God. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Praise God. That's why Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore so god is never changed god hallelujah is immutable hindi po nagbabago ang diyos siya rin po ang diyos na lumalang ng mga uh, langit o siya po ang diyos na lumalang ng langit at lupa hallelujah in genesis and he is the god also in abraham isaac and jacob and even in the uh, Daniel, the prophets, the kings, King David and King Solomon, he is the God that you serve. So it means that God never changed. God is immutable. Praise God. James chapter 1 verse 17, every good gift and every perfect gift, it is from above. And cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So, ang bawat daw regalo, no? ang bawat mabubuting regalo, ito po ay galing sa kaitas, taas, na bumaba, hallelujah, mula sa ating ama, at nagbigay ng kaliwanagan. Para makita natin ang liwana. Sapagkat ang mundong ito ay puno ng kadilipan. We cannot say God because of darkness. But God come to this world to have light. That's why we cannot, we can see it, the path now through our Lord Jesus Christ. So every good gift and every perfect gift, it is from above and coming down from the Father of light. 
So every good gift, no, kung meron po kayong mga regalo, no, yung uh, tal talino, no, praise God, ito po ay yung ipagmalaki, no? Praise God na ang Diyos po ang nagbigay. Huwag mo ipagmalaki na dang nang dai sa iyo. Ipagmalaki mo dahil ang Diyos ang nagbigay ng good gift na yan. No? Praise of God. Sunod, the immutability of God means that God does not change. No? Praise God. Time and change are together denied of God. There is no past, present, or future with God. So sa Diyos po, no? Ay wala pong ah uh, wala po sa kanya yung salitang lumipas na no sapagkat bawat oras po ay present po ang ating Panginoon no siya po yung uh, Diyos sa uh, nakalipas na mga uh, henerasyon at siya rin po ang Diyos sa kasalukuyang panahon so ibig sabihin ang Diyos po ay hindi nagbabago Siya po ay nananatiling nag-iisang Diyos. At hallelujah, kung bakit po siya nagkatawang tao dahil po sa uh, kalitasan na nais niya ipabot sa bawat isa po sa atin. So, time and change are together denied of God. There is no past, present, or future with God. Everything is one great revealing present. It is not possible that God should possess it, an attribute at one time that He does not possess at another. No? Praise God. So, wala pong imposible sa Diyos. No? So, yan po ay marami pong uh, praise God. Wala pong imposible sa Diyos. No? Maging ito'y uh, nakalipas na sa siyang nakalipas at siya rin ang kasalukuyang Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God never changed. Praise God. Liturgy, God is eternal. Sa liturgy, o part 9, Praise God. Part 9. Part 9, God is eternal. Ibig sabihin ang Diyos po ay walang hanggan. No? Praise God. Ang Diyos po ay Hallelujah. Eternal. O ang Diyos po ay walang hanggan. No? So sinabi na nga natin, nabanggit na natin before sa third part, that God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. Ang Diyos po ay nasa lahat ng dako. No? So nabanggit na po natin yan sa second part that God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. Hallelujah. There is no limit in Him because God is omnipresent God. Now, God is eternal. Na ibig sabihin ang Diyos po ay nasa walang ng God. Exodus 3 verse 14 And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. So, nagtanong po si Moses sa ating Diyos nung siya po'y pumunta sa tinatawag na uh, Holy of Holies. No? Ano ba Panginoon ang sasabihin po sa iyong mga anak o sa iyong mga pinili? No, ano bang sasabihin ko sa bayan mo? Sabihin mo sa kanila, ako si ako nga. No? So, ibig sabihin na ako si ako nga, siya ang Diyos nila, Abraham, no? ni Isaac, ni Jacob, ni Joseph, at sa kasalukuyang panahon nila, Moises. Kung bakit, siya sin bakit niya sinabi, I am that I am, sapagkat wala namang ibang Diyos, maliban, sa Diyos ni Abraham at sa kani Isaac. No, lagi natin ilagay sa ating kaisipan that there is only one God. Hallelujah. 
from the Old Testament and the New Testament, there is only one God. We already tackled this kind of lessons, right? So always remember that there is one God from the Old Testament and the New Testament. Psalms 90 chapter chapter 90 verse 2 from everlasting to everlasting thou art God mula sa walang hanggang hanggang sa walang hanggan mula sa walang hanggan ikaw ang Diyos no mula sa simula at hanggang sa kasalukuyang pananahon ikaw at ikaw ay walang hanggang nag-iisang Diyos. Oh? Praise God. So from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. So that's our references verse. If you want to read it, you can read it if you have your Bible in your home. You can read it even in your mobile. You can read it also. Praise God. In Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 12, art thou not from everlasting? O Lord my God, the eternity of God is closely connected to that immutability. No. So immutability. No. Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord my God? Di ba ikaw ang Diyos? Hallelujah. Magpakailanman o Panginoon? Mula sa walang hanggan. Ikaw ang Diyos. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 12. You can read it if you have your Bible. Praise God. Continue. Praise God. It simply means that God dwells in eternity and time has no effect upon Him. So, ibig sabihin lang dito na ang Diyos po ay nananahan sa walang hanggan. No? Kahit saan siya. Nandoon siya. Siya po'y nananahan sapagkat siya po ay nasa lahat ng dako. No? Praise God. God dwells in eternity and time has no effect upon Him. No? Yung oras po, yung araw, yung oras, ay hindi po siya maapiktuhan kahit saan siya magpunta. Because God is, it dwells in eternity. Sapagkat ang Diyos po ay nananahan sa walang hanggan. Oras, hindi po limitado sa Diyos yan. No? Wala pong epekto yan sa Kanya sapagkat God is everywhere. No one can put God in corner because God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. Tuloy, with Him there is no past nor future but one eternal present. Sa Kanya ay walang nakalipas at hallelujah sa kapanahonan sa atin ngayon. The eternal present one, the self-existence one. There is an definite relationship between the omnipresence of God and the eternity of God. This may be understood by considering the direct relation between the space and time. This may be worked out scientifically. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, no present, it is connected to the eternity of God. No, hindi po yan sila magkatiwalay. No, combine po yan sila. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, no, actually, God could not be omnipresent if He were not that I am. No. Praise God. Kung ang Diyos po, ay hindi omnipresent, ibig sabihin, hindi niya pwede sabihin that I am, kung siya ay limitado lang. No? So, bakit niya sinabi, I am, because God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. No? Siya ang Diyos nila Abraham, no? at siya ang Diyos na nakayag sa laban para sa katubusan ng kasalanan. No? Praise God. Wala namang ibang nahayag sa lahat kundi ang Diyos. No? If you want to be uh, uh, praise God, kung gusto mo uh, makasigurado, no? you can read it in 
First Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, Greek is the mystery. No, but it is not mystery. Because God already revealed Himself from the Old Testament to the New Testament. So it means God is not, hallelujah, is not mystery because God already revealed Himself. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the omnipresent if He were not that I am filling the universe with His presence. He sees the past as now. No? Nakikita niya yung nakalipas at nakikita niya yung future. So, alam ng Diyos, hallelujah, yung patutunguhan ng tao. Kaya nga kung bakit siya nahayag sa laman, bakit siya nahayag sa laman? Because He knows the future of the people. No? Nalalaman niya ang kakahantungan ng mga tao sa darating na panahon. No? That's why He provides the plan of the salvation upang ang tao po ay hindi mapahamak no sa tinatawag na walang hanggang kapasura uh, walang hanggang uh, uh, kapahamakan no? walang hanggang kaparusahan doon sa tinatawag na eternal damnation so he knows the future that's why he provide hallelujah the plan of salvation na upang ang tao po ay magtamo ng kaligtasan at hindi po mapahamak doon sa tinatawag na eternal damnation. So God's provide the plan of salvation to have eternal salvation. Upang tayo magkaroon ng buhay na kaligtasan. So that He is purpose. That's why He, that He is purpose. Why He come to this world, excuse me, to have a little chance ng kaligtasan. To have chance for the salvation. Continue. How we should rejoice that our past is blotted out under the blood of Jesus. Otherwise, our sins will continuously appear as happening now in the eyes of our Lord. Now, kung hindi po ang Diyos, hindi po nahayag ang ating pong Panginoon sa Kristo, hallelujah, so wala pong uh, magbabayad sa ating kasalanan upang tayo po ay mapaghawad at magtamo ng buhay na wala nang Kung hindi po ang Diyos na hayag sa lamas pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, we don't have salvation and there's no hope for us. But we thank God because of the love of God that He gave His life on the cross of Calvary for the ransom of many. Praise God. Tuloy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number 10. God is love. Ang Diyos po ay pag-ibig. That's the attributes of God. No? Una is the uh, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. God is holy. God is immutable. And God is eternal. And God is love. Hallelujah. Ang Diyos po ay pag-ibig. And 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Ang Diyos po ay pag-ibig. Ang nananahan sa pag-ibig ay nananahan ang Diyos sa Kanya. At ang Diyos ay sa Kanya. No? Ang tao daw na marunong magmahal sa Diyos, ang Diyos po ay nananahan din sa Kanya. No? Praise God. So that's the uh, our references verse in 1 John chapter 4, chapter 4 verse 16. Toloy, John 3, 16. For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that's the attributes of God is love. Ganon na lamang ang pagsinta ng Diyos sa sanglibutan ay binigay niya 